Hey footy fans, so I just want to reflect on the Brisbane Broncos' controversial sacking of their coach, Kev Walters. Now, whether or not you agree with um, the fact that Kevy should or shouldn't have gone, um, you have to say this has been handled extremely poorly and unprofessionally by the Brisbane Broncos club. Um, the fact that even senior players, Captain Adam Reynolds, this, the leadership group did not know of this and only found out about it themselves through the media is absolutely terrible. Um, and uh, chairman of the Broncos, Carl Morris, is a key player here and the CEO, Dave Donaghy, is also involved. Uh, but Carl Morris, if you look back, has been, he's overseen... Um, uh, very controversial uh, dealings with coaches from the moving on of Wayne Bennett um, to the hiring disastrous era that was the Anthony Seabold era that put them down at the bottom of the table. Um, and now this latest debacle in terms of uh, poor communications and, um, and execution. Um, surely the board and the chairman... Uh, and to some degree the CEO, but particularly the chairman, Carl Morris, need to be accountable here. Um, in addition, today, Tuesday, uh, Michael Maguire is about to be announced as the Broncos' new coach. And, I mean, good luck to him. But it's clear that um, he has had to um, extricate himself out of a contract as New South Wales origin coach. Um, and all of this doesn't happen in the space of one or one and a half business days, does it? Um, so clearly things have been going on behind the scenes, um, um, in the dark, in the shadows, for a number of weeks at the very least. Um, so look, and of course, Broncos CEO Dave Donaghy and Michael Maguire know each other well. They used to work together at the Melbourne Storm in the past, interestingly. Um, so look, I just think it's extremely poor form by the Broncos. It's been executed extremely poorly, um, and it's not going to serve the Broncos well. On the other hand, we see the likes of Reese Walsh um, being offered or about to be offered, I think, multi-year, multi-million dollar contracts, which are probably unwarranted. Look, I think the Broncos are going to lose a lot of fans over this, and I've heard current fans already planning to move on to the Dolphins, for example, or the Cowboys or the Titans. In addition, we've got the Brisbane Lions riding a wave of success at the moment as well. And just as happened in the late 90s, early 2000s, the Broncos could lose fans to the Lions in the AFL. So, yeah, really poorly done by the Broncos, regardless of whether or not you're going to move Kev Walters on. Uh, and the players should be accountable too, by the way. But regardless of whether or not you agree with it, it's been done extremely poorly uh, even the captain found out through the media, it's not on, it's how not to run a club. We've seen sort of toxic um, leadership leadership um, environments, i.e. boards in recent years at the West Tigers. Well, they got cleaned out and their chairman was moved on. We've seen it to some degree at the Dragons. Um, it's not going to, it's not going to end well for the Broncos. So poor form, no good Brisbane Broncos. Uh, chairman, CEO, fail. That's it from me.